My name is Kate Bodensinga. I am the Director of the School of Art in the College of Design, Architecture and Interior Design, Art and Planning at the University of Cincinnati. We are a school of about 400 students, graduates and undergraduates, in a college of about 2,500 students, in a university of about 45,000 students. In our school, in the School of Art, we have three different programs, Fine Art, Art Education, and Art History. All of them complement and support each other. The Fine Art Program, we are cross-media. We do not require our students to declare a major. That said, we offer tracks of specificity in two-dimensional art, three-dimensional art, and media art, which includes photography, video, performance, and electronic media. Earning a license in teaching is another attribute of our Bachelor of Fine Arts program, where it connects with our art education program. So many of our Bachelors of Fine Arts students choose to earn that additional qualification that will enable them to teach in public schools in the state of Ohio. Hi, I'm Jordan Tate, Associate Director of School of Art and one of the co-leaders of the photography program. I've been working at UC for 10 years. It's a wonderful place to be, it's a wonderful city, and I really hope you join us. In the School of Art, we have myriad certificate programs with the goal of helping make your educational experience here more rich. Our programs range from the combination of Critical Theory, Art, Media, and Design Practice program, Critical Visions, which publishes a book every two years, to different programs like museum studies, pre-art therapy, and game design. Any of these programs is a useful addition to your BFA to help enrich and expand your career possibilities and learning. Hi, my name is Mo Burry. I am the Assistant Professor of Experiential Education in the Division of Experience-Based Learning here at the University of Cincinnati. And I am the facilitator and co-op advisor for the Fine Arts program here at DAP. While many BFAs offer internships and co-op opportunities to students, our program is one of the only BFA programs in the country to require students to complete a three semester rotation of industry relevant co-op experiences. Students explore different opportunities within the fine arts industry and really figure out how they can balance their creative passions along with professional experience. My name is Matt Lynch. I teach in the School of Art. Uh, I find myself mostly in the sculpture studio. In addition to teaching, I also uh, am the undergraduate program coordinator for the Bachelor of Fine Arts. I work on the advising team helping shepherd the students through the program. I find myself in charge of the sculpture area, uh, which is part of our um, 3D area, which includes ceramics. Like much of the program, we, we uh, overall, we want students to immerse themselves in a variety of experiences. Uh, we've got great facilities to do that. And then in the end, uh, whether you're, whatever you're studying, uh, you're able to focus in as much as you want or you can uh, work widely with the uh, range of expertise and, and facilities that we have for a variety of materials and processes. Hi, I'm Denise Burge and I work in a pretty wide variety of materials here in the School of Art. I do everything from painting to quilt making and animation and even working on a graphic novel. In our own program, we teach 3D animation, 2D animation, character design and world building, and game art, both intro and advanced level. So in the 2D area of the School of Art, we have a very uh, adventurous program that, first of all, introduces you to uh, foundations of drawing and painting, but very rapidly moves you through to opportunities for experimenting with the medium. Uh, the other aspect of Cincinnati that's very important is its history of printmaking. Where we have a dedicated printmaking area with a range of printmaking processes available to 2D students. And these include uh, lithography, both stone and metal plate lithography, intaglio, which is a fancy word for etching, and uh, relief printing and silkscreen. Hi, my name is Lorena Molina, and I'm an assistant professor of art at the University of Cincinnati. One of the biggest strengths I see in the photo area is that our students gain the technical and practical skills with a strong background in photo theory. Personally, I see photography as one of the most important mediums because we're constantly inundating by images, both in real life and online. 
And it's important for my students to understand what these images are trying to communicate with a critical eye. I am Jenny Ustick. I'm the Foundations Coordinator in the School of Art and Associate Professor of Practice. Uh, we're really conscious of the fact that the students who come to us in the first year have a really wide range of experience. Uh, whether it's in their high school art classes, if they were fortunate to have them, uh, or in their families, the backgrounds, etc. And we acknowledge the experience that students have had. We try and deepen that, but also introduce students to things that they may not have had exposure to. My name is Ha, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist, and I'm also an assistant professor of fine arts here at the University of Cincinnati. Uh, I work with craft and specifically I work with ceramics and fibers and I use forms of sculpture, installation, as well as time-based media to communicate the ideas I want to communicate with my work. I don't think I've been at other institutions in which students are this interested in art. Like there's an eagerness that comes into a classroom of like of asking questions of like why and really thinking about how art is able to connect to their real lives. 